rise of kingdoms gave me early access to a test server for update 87 so we can take a look at everything new that's coming to the game for the halloween update including our boy ragnar prime but first what's going on guys cheers that's right ladies and gentlemen we are back inside the test server rise of kingdoms has given me access to this special test server a couple of times over the past few months so unfortunately no i don't actually have 100 million gems i i really wish that i did that'd be great hey can i can is there any way we can send these to my main account or no no okay well anyway as a partnered creator with rise of kingdoms today's video is sponsored and we're going to take a look at all of the new things coming with the halloween update my boy ragnar prime as you can see here we have the trial version of ragnar prime you can see my remaining time here is five days and six hours left okay one of the things that i was curious about i've been i've been poking around this test server just a little bit okay first of all we have have the commander favorite option in the top here which when you favorite a commander they should be pinned to the very top of the list so let's try it with somebody else let's try it with Mehmed let's see if we do that and boom there it is Mehmed is the number one thing that shows up here I am very excited about this because honestly there's like an order of commanders that I want to see them in and some of the commanders because they're secondaries they don't have gear and things like that and so they're farther down on like the power ranking or something like that very happy this is just a quick little quality of life upgrade stoked about that to be honest with you guys but anyway one other thing that I noticed when I was poking around this server was if you click on skills here of course this is a fully expertise Ragnar Prime and by the way one of the things that I missed in the video where I covered all the skills and we're not going to do that in this video so if you missed that video check it out on the channel but not only does this expertise increase the damage factor to 2200 but a lot of you pointed out in the comment section below that it changes his damage over time from the current target to all troops hit by this skill for the next two seconds so that's a bonus 600 damage factor to up to three targets that's 1800 bonus damage factor Ragnar Prime is insane I'm so excited to get my hands on him and speaking of which if we click on this little plus button right here I was poking around the server we can see a couple of things first of all we can in fact exchange universal sculptures for this commander and this is more confirmation that there will be an event that is how we will be able to obtain Ragnar Prime initially if you guys watched one of my most recent videos I talked about everything we knew about Ragnar Prime and that being that it was revealed he won't be on the wheel he won't be in my disc governor he will be free to unlock apparently on day one of this new event that is coming now if I click this uh it is not live yet so I have no more details unfortunately about this new event and I also have no idea what will happen to Ragnar Prime after this event is over how will we get him I have no idea now the next thing that I want to go over here is the VIP system because this was a very big uh point of discussion for a lot of players some people very excited that VIP 19 was coming and the SVIP many players have been on the fence about it right now as you can see here VIP 19 it says troop attack plus 10 percent now don't get confused because if you look at previous VIP levels you'll see that troop attack was already plus five percent I don't remember which VIP level actually gives you that I guess we could totally uh scroll back here and see where where do we get troop attack VIP 11 is where you get troop attack plus five percent um so really the VIP 19 buff is equivalent to the VIP 11 buff so it's really I mean look I would rather there not be battle stats here but in a world where there are this is like the weakest battle stat bump that they could have given us honestly also the bump in training speed uh what was it before the training speed prior was 25 percent so again we have plus five percent extra training speed again honestly it's not that big of a deal to me but I did want to at least point it out everything else here is actually the same even the production percentage did not increase with VIP 19 which is interesting because it does increase for every other VIP level you'll notice it goes up by five roughly five percent every single time uh but for VIP 19 they actually said no you do not get more food wood stone or gold production at all you also don't get any more um gathering speed either so literally no other changes here no action point recovery nothing the only upgrade is troop attack and, and and training speed so it is what it is uh they are basically denying VIP 19 players additional income from the production so I mean it, it again we're splitting hairs at this point but I wanted to point that out next up VIP 19 chests we see that it is still three legendary commander sculptures however now they will get 19 wood stone and gold every single day 
they will continue getting a single equipment material choice chest the epic version they will get one crystal key and one transmutation stone so i think the only difference here is um more resources and a transmutation stone one transmutation stone every single day is actually really good i feel like trans transmutation stones are very valuable so that is a very nice reward so this i don't think is like i mean you know if you're spending in the game and you're spending enough to get to vip 19 maybe this is worth it uh but for most players i would say it's nothing crazy and then we have svip now svip looks like it is the final level for vip in rise of kingdoms okay that I, I mean i can't imagine a world where we go beyond this we just got the final two vip levels it is what it is there's no extra bonuses here they don't get any more production gathering speed they don't get any additional uh battle stats or anything like that they literally just get access to the supreme wheel and the svip shop plus the daily chest here gives them a formation choice chest okay plus some extra resources so everything else here is the same as vip 19 but they get a formation choice chest every single day i think that that is kind of expected that is what people thought might be here i mean that's pretty good it's pretty good right that that's nice they're gonna get way more formations now most of the time when I open one of these I don't get anything worth value so I mean it's not like game breaking that they would get this but it is a nice sort of resource to claim daily because you can recycle those armaments and get more of the currency for the shop so yeah now let's take a look at the supreme wheel uh if we take a look here there is as it states a wheel and I can spin well we have a free spin I wonder if you're gonna get a free spin every single day that might be really interesting but here we get 10 of the what what is the official name of this currency does it say supreme jewels yes so we get 10 supreme jewels a single spin is 500 VIP points a 10 spin is 5000 VIP points so here we are literally these these are literally like the same icon as the gem but just like a diamond basically so very interesting stuff here I wonder what I mean we're doing a 10 spin so how many are we gonna get what did I get the first time for free was it like 10 or something like that I don't even remember but here we have uh it's just going baby it's just going yeah I think we got 10 as the first one oh we got 100 there so all right there we go uh we got a nice bunch here we got 480 now if we come into the svip shop i feel like uh there's some pretty cool stuff here actually so okay so oh these are these aren't even permanent oh these are 30 okay this is permanent the clouds of war alliance war interface so let's buy that let's see what that is this is in my inventory and other uh grants your alliance war interface the clouds of war theme okay so let's use that now when i go to rally something my my rally for me specifically as a player because i've unlocked this you can see the swords and fire behind me i find that super cool and it's going to be really easy to see the top tier players in your alliance when they're rallying something you'll know because it'll look awesome compared to everyone else and i I can't wait to see what else they do with this right they could even make these animated like imagine the fire in the back is moving later down the line like there's a lot they can do with cosmetics in this game and i'm really excited to see what happens next let's see what else we can get our hands on in the svip shop here we have endless war grants your profile the endless war profile theme okay let's get that and we can use it in our items i suspect where yep there it is okay let's do that and where's the oh dude that actually looks so sick i love the banner here how it's like ripped and everything this looks really cool i'm a big fan of this i feel like being able to customize how your account looks is going to be awesome i think maybe they should fade it out a little bit because then it won't be like i don't know some of this the contrast here feels a little weird but either way like i think this is a huge double thumbs up love it it's cosmetic only that's all it does and it's only for three days by the way um so again if we come into the svip shop you'll see it's a three-day thing this is permanent this is three days uh, we have a couple of other things these are again temporary very crazy stuff here so we have 5600 oh it's 9800 for that oh okay we have a three day and a 30 day let's just do the the three day here and if you come into your city for the city effects you'll see it shows up at the very top of the city here oh no dude oh that's so sick oh my god that's so sick i love this i love this 
No way. Hang on. Can I can I actually Oh my god. Oh my god. You'll know a legend is arriving. You'll know an absolute legend is arriving. I can't wait to see what else they do with that. A couple of other things here. We have the uh what is this? Cranes taking flight. So I'm going to apply this and you can see that there's like, you know, some mist and fog around my city. You see the cranes flying overhead with some sparkles. Let's take a look at the floral footfall here. You can see that there, as you're marching, there's golden like Lotus petals that are coming from behind Boudicca's army there. So let's use floral footfall. See what that does. Yes, dude, my army's golden. It's going to be so easy to follow around. Like, let's say like the king of your kingdom or your alliance leader or whatever has like a mega stacked account you're gonna be able to see who the leader is and honestly uh if you're playing uh, in the open field and you see somebody with this don't hit them okay hit 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 somebody else now in dot mode can you see it in dot mode i bet you you can't yeah you can't see it in dot mode so it's not really i mean the players that are like super invested in pvp they're gonna be in dot mode they're not gonna know regardless but if you're playing like this probably don't hit this guy he's insane oh and look we got the we got the sort of smoke and cranes around the city now that is awesome anyway that's everything in the svip shop and i'm sure they're going to update that over time as more and more players reach svip and they have excess things to spend on here we could see that for vip 19 you are able to buy transmutation stones in the vip shop and then svip will get you the ability to buy formation choice chests here okay next up let's talk about the vacation permits because i know that this is something that a lot of players were very interested in when this was first announced uh let's see what this actually looks like from the king's perspective so you can tap on a player's city out in the world and you can come up to where you would normally give them a chest or a gift and here you can see the gifts and here you can see the vacation permits okay so it says if this governor accepts their power will not be factored into your kingdom's matchmaking for the following season if they enter the lost kingdom they will not be able to to leave your starting province so you can still go into the lost kingdom you can still kill barbs and do all that other stuff and gather in the lost kingdom but you just can't do any meaningful fighting okay uh, and it looks like there's going to be 10 vacation permits that you can give out in a certain number of days i suspect it's per season possibly i have no idea but here we can go ahead and see them send the vacation permit to the player and then when that player logs in this is what they will see it says your king has sent you a vacation permit if you accept your status will be changed to on vacation or this season your power will not be factored in the kingdom matchmaking and what else does it say here in the lost kingdom you will not be able to leave your starting province for the entire season would you like to accept this vacation permit and then you have three days it looks like to accept this you will auto accept at the end of the countdown which means that you need to be logging in to check this stuff okay because otherwise you will be forced essentially into vacation uh which is probably a good tool for the kings to have at their disposal if they know somebody is not uh logging in frequently enough so that's pretty cool uh then you can come in here you can accept and then you'll see in the top left corner that they have the vacation buff is active and it is a permanent on vacation thing I suspect it's just permanent for that season but uh yeah pretty cool stuff I know a lot of people were really interested in this so I am happy that it is finally coming to the game okay next let's take a look at the actual holiday events shall we I mean this is like it's a Halloween event it's a Halloween update so let's take a look at the Halloween stuff we've got Esmeralda's prayer so this event let's see what we can get our hands on here we can get a sorceress reverie decoration voucher and this will allow us to get one of three different rewards all three of these have been seen in the game already so if you miss them in the past now you get a chance to get one of them if you already have them you'll get 200 gems for free which is pretty cool next at 35 spins we have the twilight banquet permanent city skin and if we take a look at what that actually does we'll scroll scroll all the way down here uh, and if you're wondering this is the only new city skin that i noticed this of course was the recent xenoph the twilight banquet city skin is an epic infantry skin that gives you five percent infantry attack and five percent gather speed so basically the same thing as song of the depths but this is for infantry so pretty cool stuff but you lose five percent archer defense just like with song of the depths we lost five percent infantry defense so um of the two i mean they're pretty much the same in my book this one i think looks a bit cooler though because uh we have well if i turn off that city animation you can see that it's basically just a sort of creepy purple roofed house here 
with a bunch of jack-o-lanterns around the bottom at first I couldn't even really tell that this was a Halloween city skin it didn't really scream Halloween to me other than like a couple of bats flying around and the pumpkins at the bottom but like the top like let's say the top like 80 percent of the city skin doesn't look like a Halloween skin at all so I mean if you want to use it year round that's a good thing if you want something that's like super Halloween vibes maybe that's not really for you I like the Halloween city skins a lot though so another gathering skin is great if you already have the first one is that one a must-have probably not unless you really lean more towards infantry but regardless that's what we're gonna get from the uh, Esmeralda's prayer here otherwise pretty good event honestly especially if you need all this stuff here and really you should need everything here except for this you don't really need this unless you're a younger player everything else is actually good I mean you need all of this in the end game resources aren't that exciting but I mean you are gonna need them so yeah here we have the ability to get the bards pendant once again the bards pendant is coming around very good stuff if you guys don't know what the bards pendant is it's an epic ring that gives you five percent extra resources from gathering this has been around for a while you've been able to get your hands on this for a while but it's only recently that it started showing up in these pick one accessory chests I would say maybe about a year or less ago so getting your hands on these whenever you can is really nice if you guys were wondering uh I didn't notice any other equipment in the blacksmith here I scrolled through there's nothing new so there's that next we have the race against time event take out as many barbarians as you can before time runs out if we take a look here we get some shiny wishing coins which you can use for Esmeralda's prayer which is quite nice and yeah a couple of other goodies here but really you want to do this for the shining wishing coin and if of course you come in first place you get a bunch of cool stuff so that's really nice next we have the try our trouble event this is another way you're going to get your hands on those wishing coins which is really cool and legendary commander sculptures so we love to see that then we have the ghoulish graveyard event which is blurred out here for me I don't know what's going on there if it's a little graphical glitch or something like that but basically haunted graves will appear around the map and you'll have to complete quests for them to get witch hats and then you can summon the witch and defeat her for extra rewards one of those rewards being the jackal lantern and the witch's hat and you're going to be able to use those for the well I presume it's going to be for the Halloween event that will actually come around where you donate these things to get yourself some Halloween related items that you can then trade in for things like legendary commander sculptures we see this every year when these types of events come around previously this was called the it was called monster mash I believe I don't know if it was last year or the year before not sure if it'll be called that this year as well but um, I'm sure you guys know the type of event that I'm already referring to because it's been on for a long time we have protect the supplies making a return here we have normal and legend you can get your hands on more shining wishing coins here as well and then here we have a five-day login event where you can get your hands on more of the shiny wishing coins if you actually do all the things that you need to do increase your power spend action points log in for up to five days one of these is troop power one of them is total power so yeah we have more barbarian kills and things like that then we have the runic revelations here so here we will see Ooh, it looks like we have our boy Ragnar Prime I remember the day I set sail for England okay will I emerge victorious against the Saxons the battle will be difficult but victor but victory can be found behind the dark clouds all right and what do we see here select a question you want to divine will I get the eight sculpture prize the next time the wheel of fortune comes around let's see let's take a look here select three runes boom 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 past present future the shackled man seems doomed to fate but you should fear he who works every day to break his bond present riding seems easy to the warrior who rests indoors but double brave to he who traverses the moors and future the blessing of the gods a joyful hearth balance and freedom okay let's view the results here incredible you'll get everything you want oh okay so does that mean that I will get the eight sculpture prize next time I spin the wheel that's pretty cool we can share this to the chat here let's share it to the Alliance and we'll get ourselves some free goodies there so uh okay let's see will my camp achieve victory in the lost kingdom so this is one of the things where it's like there's no way that this could actually predict it right a turning point is coming cool so I don't know if this actually influences anything but if you keep divining then you're going to get some free stuff here which is pretty cool free gems so you might as well do this every single time you can next we have the sharp eyes and quick hands event this is the classic puzzle event where we see uh Ragnar and Bjorn make a return here 
for both of these images which is pretty cool looks like this is the original Ragnar artwork and then here we have the Ragnar Prime artwork and you can get your hands on some speed ups you can get your hands on some gems some uh, speed ups and resources so that is some good stuff you definitely want to do this first strike is the event where you can try out to Ragnar Prime and then uh the rest of the stuff here is pretty standard looks like we have a new Siroli crisis boss actually we have Mama Mara okay interesting once the most respected alchemist shaman and Siroli now a horror story whispered around the campfire Ooh, give mama a hand okay potion power adverse effects interesting stuff she looks very creepy I like that a lot menacing minions I guess she summons minion troops to bring her potions if a minion if a minion manages to deliver a potion her attack and defense increases she also recovers lost units adverse effects if your troop defeats a minion carrying a different potion than itself your troop will take damage Ooh. lots of minion play here I wonder uh how that's going to go it's always cool to see a new Siroli boss though so I'm happy to see her come into the rotation taking a look at the shop we have nothing changes here oh was this always here maybe it was always there and I'm stupid Ishtar our gate Are these always here I guess they must have been always here I, I just scroll right past them maybe they're they disappear when you buy them I have no idea jumping into expedition I was curious to see if anything would have changed here uh, but it looks like there is nothing changed for expedition all the rewards are still the same here which is a bummer we take a look at the metal store see no Ragnar Prime that does not mean that this won't ever happen but it's definitely uh disheartening I would I would have loved to have been surprised by a Ragnar Prime here that would have been super cool next we have the King of All Britain season of conquest story of course this is where Ragnar Prime will shine and unfortunately the shop is not open yet uh uh, can I teleport into the map Ooh. so here we see I've teleported actually into the map and oh we got a little island over here the island looks empty so I don't know if that's actually going to be accessible or not but this is the map you can see it's actually not a square really I mean it is kind of a square but a lot of it is filled in with water so really interesting stuff there let's take a look at quote unquote the center of the map the Southwell Minster this is basically going to be the uh the center of the map here what else do we have we have the ruined Crusader Fortress as expected some ancient ruins we have Crusader camps of course moving into the next zone what are these what is this what is this right here Monastery of the divine mercy okay we've got some healing speed hospital capacity interesting stuff so we've got those in some of the next zones and then it looks like we do have some altars of darkness awesome very interesting stuff here past fives okay cash from victorious what is this this is like off in the bottom corner of the map here some really powerful buffs there awesome and here we have some birds now this is actually a new component of this of this specific kvk here basically you can breach the walls of a burr and there's a loot value associated with a lot of these different buildings here which is really cool we've got some viking dwellings here we've got some uh some farmland off on the side here this actually looks really beautiful i'm not gonna lie you guys this actually looks really good so this the burr is not open yet we have viking dwellings for sure for sure we have like monuments and stuff like that the viking hof okay and it looks like we have a lot of rewards here for capturing this stuff it says dwellings cannot attack your troops or counterattack when attacked attacking dwellings will not cost you any action points nor will you incur any losses you will not earn any loot for destroying a dwelling but it will increase the loot value of the burr once a burr's loot value reaches 100 and there are no troops from other camps within it the burr's status will be changed to looting interesting okay burrs are fortified settlements part of part stronghold and part town as centers of population and wealth they make for a prime rating target for those gutsy enough to challenge their formidable defenses by defeating the defenders of an enemy burr you can loot a horde of valuable supplies by defending your own burrs you can stop an enemy advance in its tracks the lost kingdom is home to both English and Viking burrs you can only raid and loot enemy birds of course so if you're the Vikings you're going to be raiding and looting the English burrs and vice versa birds can be in one of two phases the open phase lasting eight hours during which time they can be entered and raided by enemy camps the rebuilding or protected phases last for 64 hours during which time they cannot be entered birds that were successfully raided will enter the rebuilding phase those that were not will enter the protected phase so it sounds like this will be similar to like the altars of darkness there'll be certain times where they open and then they close for 
a certain number of hours during the open phase you can defeat an enemy burr's defending troops or destroy its buildings to increase the burr's loot value once the burr reaches 100 loot value it's changed to looting and governors in your camp will be able to loot its central building to claim a reward if a troop from any other camp enters the burr its status will change from looting to contending you will not be able to claim a reward until you remove all troops from other camps from the burr and the burr status reverts to looting governors from other camps will not be able to loot a burr that your camp has successfully raided burrs in the rebuilding and protected phase can't be entered even by friendly troops claim up to two rewards from raiding burrs and only one reward per burr troops from viking camps will receive a two percent bonus to attack while in a burr and troops from english camps will receive a two percent bonus to defense while in a burr so here it looks like we have 150 stratagem points we have equipment materials speed ups gems crystal keys so some nice little i wonder if this uh i wonder if these this loot will increase as the loot value goes up right like I wonder if these if this is like the base for rewards but it gets even higher as that loot value reaches 100 it is not open for rating so I can't do that now unfortunately now that we're here I still can't look at the Lost Kingdom shop unfortunately so I don't know if anything has changed there but if we take a look at the event um we have starting provinces home gang is going to be a Viking versus English uh basically 3v3 game mode so that's pretty cool we have stratagems just like before we've seen that in other uh kvks we have the burr rating we just went over we have ragnar primes artifact at a certain point in the lost kingdom chronicles all governors will receive an artifact designed exclusively for prime ragnar Lodbrok. prime ragnar has this artifact equipped and is serving as secondary commander all of his skills will apply to all unit types so this means uh secondary to Trajan confirmed possibly um it's going to be tanky massive damage added to Trajan who could be full mixed units really interesting stuff here we have bastions we have favor alliance entry permits of course and immigration uh, this there is crystal tech here of course as you guys as you guys might have suspected we have a coalition system as you guys again may have suspected the rewards are the same we have stars for the winner and we have four camps so two viking and two English so when the Crusader fortresses are unlocked it looks like that is when we get the special artifact for Ragnar Prime or sorry special accessory for Ragnar Prime perhaps unfortunately based on the level of my account there is no equipment that I can add here so I don't know if there's like a building I have to build to do that or I just have to reach a certain city hall level possibly uh but yeah taking a look at the bundles we do have a fright night bundle where you can get your hands on some more shiny wishing coins and a cute little kid name plaque which is adorable I can't wait to see what the avatars frame looks like as well I love cats and I'm sure there will be another bundle that will probably come with some amount of jack-o-lanterns and hats perhaps taking a look at the bastions it looks like we don't have any uh support skills by the way so you don't have to worry about that of course you do still have to do them taking a look at some of the rewards here there are no new additional rewards in the crystal chest or in the gold keys in case you guys were wondering and there are no new updates to the museum which I definitely double checked because I was curious no new levels for any commanders or anything like that um so yeah also now that we know just by the way now that we know Ragnar Prime skills I would be shocked if they let us use this for Ragnar Prime I highly doubt that the relic will be usable for Ragnar Prime if it is usable then he is probably one of the most tanky commanders if not the most tanky commander in the entire game and would be a must max commander but anyway with that being said guys that is everything that I wanted to cover here in the test server in Rise of Kingdoms if you made it this far into the video I hope you'll drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other Rise of Kingdoms players might see it and comment down below your thoughts on everything we covered here is there anything that I missed in this update that you wanted me to take a look at let me know down in the comment section below and what do you think about all the stuff we covered the Halloween events the new VIP system the new KBK story Ragnar Prime the new Soroli boss we covered vacation permits there was so much in this update that we talked about let me know what you think about all of it in the comment section below and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace